My name is Michelle Nazareth and I'm a freshman at Hopkins this year. Thank you so much for checking out my virtual presentation. If you have any questions or just want to talk more about the research, be sure to check out my live Zoom sessions, which I'm linking on my page. Thank you. My objective for my research this year was to investigate the evolution of magnetotactic bacteria, specifically using neodymium magnets and common soil bacteria. I discovered a statistically significant difference um, in the compositions of the two samples, which has never been discovered before. So bacteria are obviously really important both in our bodies and the ecosystems around us. And some are motile, meaning that they can swim because of little flagella to help them get to the nutrients they need like light to help them grow and survive. But some of these bacteria are called magnetotactic bacteria because they have magnetite lo nodules lodged in them and that helps them align with Earth's magnetic field. Now these bacteria are really important because not only do they um, have big roles in symbiotic relationships, but also they're now being used to aid in different cancer therapies. That's why my objective was to not only investigate how these guys first evolved, but also what effects these strong magnetic fields can have on these common bacteria, like Pseudomonas and B. subtilis. To do this, I developed an upward motility protocol right here, where I created these soil cultures in the bottom that were weighed down and dyed, and then placed fresh LB medium on top so that they naturally swim into the fresh medium because they want more nutrients. However, the magnetic field groups had to go through these strong magnetic fields at 1.25 teslas. Then I created, I took the top 0.5 mils from each sample, um, gram stained it and analyzed it under the microscope in order to visualize these results. I saw really big differences. The control groups had both gram positive and gram negative bacteria, but the magnetic groups actually contained mostly gram negative bacteria. And I repeated this experiment about 12 times or more. To further confirm my results though, I got my results from a 16S ribosomal RNA sequencing, which basically helps identify and quantify the different bacterial species present in the sample. But those results also further confirmed the ones that I observed under the microscope. There were so many differences between the bacterial compositions and the control groups and the magnetic groups that it was clear immediately that the magnetic field caused the two populations to split into significant compositional differences. On top of that, I performed um, alternate hypothesis testing user, using standard deviations and p-values um, using the data that I collected from my images that I got from the microscope. Um, I found that after doing these tests, I got a p-value of 0 0.0004, which means that my results were statistically significant at the alpha equals 0 0.01 level, meaning that there's a big compositional differences between these two samples. To conclude, I met my objective in this project by investigating the um, evolution of magnetotactic bacteria, and I also discovered ways that magnetic fields selectively filter between gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, which has never been discovered before. Um, thank you for listening to me, and I really look forward to discussing my work with you further.